Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is the first of my videos that you are watching. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rainy Girl, and I'm very happy to have you here watching this unboxing video today. Um, so, I don't even know what number I'm on at this point, I think I'm on 60 or 61 or something, but it will say in the title. Um, I filmed like three unboxing videos today, so forgive me for losing track of where I am. So this is um, going to be my second to last from Japan haul. I think I have um, one more coming. I haven't put the um, charge to in for that yet. I think At least I think it's one more. Um, but like I said in my previous videos, I'm no longer going to be using from Japan, I don't think. Because um, their uh, charges have just become too ridiculously high. And, you know, even as me as an adult with a job you know I can't be affording to spend like 85 pounds on shipping all the time for items that don't even you know cost 85 pounds to ship so um, I'm looking um, at moving over to or I should say I have moved over um, by the time this video goes up because Lord knows when it will go up um, I always seem to I always seem to upload my videos like really late from when I film them but anyway that's neither here nor there um yeah so by the time this comes up I have actually started using um Zen Market instead because I've been told by from other uh photo card collectors on the photo card forum that it is a lot cheaper so um yeah I'm just going to get into this box basically as you can see I tried to put um you know as much in as I could without being charged like a ridiculous amount but unfortunately that didn't happen um you know like I said like I said in my other videos you know I've been using from Japan for two or three years and I'm just surprised at the fact that the price to ship things has doubled and now they've brought in this stupid fee of like if you've got two if your items in total value up to 200,000 yen, you get charged an extra 2,800 yen export fee. It just seems ridiculous to me, really. So, um, I am just think I'm just going to go from top to bottom, really. Um, if I don't break anything on the way down. I have done that before, you know, I've been too conscious of um, making sure that my videos are... Um, are nice and like short and what have you and I have actually cut cards before um, it happened to my what was it my marry you Q and, Q and, and he shell card I accidentally cut the um, it, was a, it was I mean it was an absolutely tiny minuscule cut but I actually did manage to cut the um, the corner of it off I stuck it back with sellotape you know, because I have no intentions of um, of actually selling that card, um, but you know, the fact that I was just I was trying to film the video so quickly that I just wasn't paying any attention. I shall just leave these out of the way. So the first card I got was um, this Jessica, this With Love J card. I thought this is one of the prettier ones. I'm only looking to get about three of these, really. Um, and I think I'm only looking to get three of the Wonderland um, ones. But I thought that one was one of the prettiest ones, so... Same with the Taeyeon ones. Like, I'm only looking to get a couple because she obviously has, like, te like ten for, um, for the My Voice album and stuff, so... Uh, then I got the last card I needed for Q the Qans. Um, is this waiting still? Um, I got the vertical version in my um, album, so I just needed to get that one. I got the. A lot of these are actually last cards that I need. I think um, I got the last um, S. Uh, no, sorry, XO. Um, what was this? Exordium um, card. No, ex no, it wasn't. It was Exolution. Sorry, uh, the last card that I needed, which was Kai's one. 
but I really liked these postcards, you know, so. If I collected XO as a, com as like a full band, like, they would probably be like one of my favourite sets, but, um, I only have the Sumin, uh, Tao Beckin and Kai ones for those. But I've been making some decisions with my, um, in regards to my collection about groups that I'm going to stop com uh, collecting. I'm just going to finish the cards that I already have. And then I'm going to stop collecting that group. Because it's, it's just too stressful to collect like 25 groups. So there are some groups that I've already stopped. Because I've finished them. Um, but there are some groups that I will collect keep collecting I um I think I'm down to about eight at the minute that I've written down that I want to still collect um that may change but I don't know um the next card I got was Kibum's sorry sorry jacket card again they were another set that I was only going to collect top three for but I find them on occasion for really cheap you know and it'd be silly not to get them so you know, and like I say, Suju are my favourite group, so. Uh, the next thing I got was a copy of Shiny's Winter Wonderland. Everything is falling out. Let me just... Um, so, just I just want to show you the booklet, because I think the, the pictures in the booklet are absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you gave me cards that look like this I would be like so over that because they look all like galaxy like and galaxies are my thing so yeah I got a copy of that CD there Let me just pop that in there um, but I got it with keys card because for Japanese um, albums I only really collect keys so there was a few odd other ones that I collect the full band for but for the majority it's just mainly key see like shiny is one of those groups that they're bringing out so many photo cards lately that I don't know whether I'm gonna keep collecting them or not even though they are my second favorite boy group you know like I say I've been a fan of k-pop since 2010 and um i don't know it's just lately nothing because obviously my favorite groups are not really so active at the minute and nothing apart the only real like new group that really interests me is oh my girl um i don't know i'm just getting a bit bored with k-pop at uh, the minute you know and there's other things that i want to do i want to travel a bit more while i can and what have you so you know, there's other things that I kind of like want to spend my money on. Um, I also got another copy of Suju's Sorry Sorry. Um, obviously this is the Japanese version. Sorry, I'm just checking to see where the card is. Oh, cute. I've just seen these Polaroid things at the back. Like, if they were if they were Polaroids, I'd be so into like so into them. Um, I don't know. How, I don't know if I've got a copy of the Japanese album. I think I have. I will have to check. But um, I got it with Shiwon's card. So I'm actually doing really well with my sorry sorry cards lately. Um. I shall move you up here. Try and make some room. Um, I, actually, and I am, am I don't don. I'm only missing three for marry you. I'm doing well with my jacket cards, and they're looking to be coming back this year as well. At the you know at some point this year, so the next um. If I can get out of the bubble, that's the next card that I got. Um, or should I say, the next thing that I got was a copy of Girls' Generations G Japan. 
This is the, I think, the CDDG version. I need to catch up with actually getting my Girls' Generation CDs, but like I said, I'm running out of, like, room of where to put all my CDs. Uh, and I bought this with the last G card that I needed. I do like the concept for this, though. It's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, I bought this with the last um, card that I needed, which was this Tiffany one for my Japanese Girls' Generation cards. If you remember, I only collect Yuna, Hyoyeon, and Tiffany. So, um, so those, that's that there. I have no idea. I'll just keep this OB strip over here for a minute. And uh, the last item that I have for this haul is a CD that I didn't have and it's just a copy of Crayon Pops um, Ui, which is this here um, it kind of looks a bit like it comes in a slip case and then obviously you've got the CD and thingy I actually really like the video for this was really really weird but um, I actually really liked the song for that only has like two tracks on it but um yeah like i say do you love me some crayon pop so um that is pretty much everything that i got in my haul this time so like i say i think i've got one more from japan haul um to go and then um in regard i'm i'm literally like in regards to my photo card collection update um i'll let you know where i am um I had, a, oh, I don't know, maybe end of last year, I think it was, maybe October, I did film my collection video and I wasn't happy with it. And if you do collect photo cards and you do update videos, you will know that sometimes, like, you're just not happy with it. And I, because I don't do photo card collection updates um, very frequently, because it does take me forever to film them, um, I basically, what I've been doing is I've just been... Uh, dictating what I was saying because I liked what I was saying in the last video it's just that it didn't feel like it was at a point where I wanted to show it because obviously since October I've gotten so many more like things and so many more sets have been finished and stuff and I just wasn't happy with it I'm gonna be honest with you guys you know I just wasn't happy with how my collection video was uh, looking I could have put my video up in October um, and that probably would have satisfied a lot of people but you know, like I say, I wasn't particularly very happy with it. So, um, yeah, basically what I've been doing is I've just been sitting and um, dictating um, that video and, and try transcribing basically that video at my one in October. But obviously I've got to add all the new bits in and stuff. So, um, I know I've, I've got, um, I'm, try I'm kind of thinking like that gonna wait for this from Japan and one of my Zen market ones to come in packages to come in and stuff and I'm looking to pro probably because what are we on now we're on the 18th I'm looking to get my video filmed probably in the first or second week of May um, I know I've been saying that I'm gonna be doing it since March and everything and I know that's probably really really annoying people um, but like I say, you know, I have, I do have a full-time job and I'm starting my own jewellery, like, handmade jewellery business and everything. Um, and, you know, I've been away and seeing family and all that kind of stuff. So, it's trying to, like, get the time to sit down and actually film it. So, um, yeah, basically I'm looking to film my video in the first or second week of May um, at the very latest. Um, it's pointless me saying I'm going to do it this month because I know that it's it's going to take me a while to get my Zen Market and my last From Japan stuff in. And obviously I've got some um, Oh My Girl CDs um, and like Hello Venus um, ones still coming and everything um, and what have you. And oh, I still have uh, Ye Song's new album to get so yeah you know it's just that thing it's like I'm never happy with my video because I just always feel like I film it and everything, put it up and then I've got more stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I am, I do really, really apologise if you've been waiting for it. And I just, you know, just ask that you bear with me. Um, and, 
yeah so that's pretty much everything for today's haul because obviously the light is going and everything so um i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up um and if you like my unboxing videos then please feel free to subscribe to my channel the link to that is just below this video and make sure to click the little bell notification to make sure that you get notified of when I upload my videos um, and I hope you guys are having a good day or a night wherever you are and I shall see you again next time bye guys <laughs>